Okay, welcome, welcome once again to another video related to Vim. Uh, in this video, we're gonna show you different commands, different useful commands, uh, and how you can actually use them in this incredible editor. Okay, so let's start. So uh, first of all, what we are going to do, we are going to open up our terminal. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit. And we have a file code, as you can see on our desktop. Uh, it's called newcode.py. So it's a Python code file. So let's try to open it inside Wim. Okay. So what we are going to do is that first of all, we're going to go to our desktop. And here we have this new code.py file. So in order to open that file in Vim, what you've got to do, either you write vim or you write vi, both of them would work. And then basically, if you are not in the current directory, then you will give the exact complete path. And right now you can see we are in the directory. So we'll just type in the file name, which is essentially new code.py. Okay. So we hit enter. And now you can see that we are right inside the file. Okay. So right now, if I try to type in something, you can see that I'm unable to type inside the code, right? So what this suggests that I'm unable to write, it means that I am in the command mode. Okay. So in here, I can type in some different commands. And uh, if I want to go to the edit mode, I just have to press I. And you can see that here we can see insert and now you can start inserting like anything okay right inside the code all right so now if i want to go back to the uh command mode from the edit mode what all i have to do is press escape all right so what i'm gonna do is that i'm going to write uh all those commands uh, inside the text editor as well so first command that I want to share with you that if you want to quit, okay, so if you want to quit, what you've got to do is that you have to write here Q. All right. So right now we hopefully we didn't make any changes. So first of all, if you want to write, you have to press uh, like this colon W, you hit enter and you can see that now you can actually write. All right. So if you want to go out of it what you've got to do is that you have to press q along with colon okay colon q and you hit enter and you can see that you have come out of it all right so now uh, if you go back again inside the file so if you want to save the changes and then you want to quit then what you have got to do you would write here w q okay colon w q so it means first you save it and then you basically quit it all right okay so let's just not uh try to write these commands one by one here what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna put all of them in the description with the explanation okay so do not worry about it so let me just close it all right so now uh the next command that we're gonna do is let me just go in here Okay, so now if you want to quit and you want to unsave all the changes, so what you've got to do, uh, you just press a colon Q and then exclamation mark. Okay, so you hit enter and now you're outside of the Vim editor. All right, so another command that I have already explained uh, is that if you want to insert, you have to press I and then obviously you can write down anything. Uh, if you go, want to go back to the command mode from the edit mode, then you have to press escape. Okay. And uh, let's say you are in edit mode and you are like, for example, you're writing something like, let's say you write here, Linux hint is great. Okay. So now if you want to undo that change, how would you do it? You'd press U, okay? Uh, excuse me. You 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 will go back in the uh, mode, the what we call as the command mode, and then you would press U, okay? So you can see that with one U, basically we have undone uh, the change. All right. So if you want to redo the change, all you have to do you have to press Control R, and you can see that you have redone the change. All right. So now again you and you can see we have undone the change okay so that's how you roll so now uh, if i press x 
it would delete one character all right so let me just basically delete here uh, from here okay so if I press X you can see that it has deleted the hashtag again I press X X X X and you can see that I press X and it deletes everything so now I go back to the escape mode I again press U and now you can see that it is it will basically recover all of them one by one all right so if you want to delete one line all you have to do is that you have to press DD okay you press DD and it would basically delete that line all right so if you want to uh, set numbers to these lines what you have got to do you have to write here set numbers okay you hit enter okay I think it is set number not numbers so you hit enter and you can see that basically all the uh, line numbers has been assigned uh, to the code okay so the next command uh, is related to the dd as well that what uh, that's what we have done so let's say if you want to delete let's say seven lines all right so for that you would press seven and then dd and you can see that it has deleted seven lines okay all at once and now i'll press u and i'll get all of them back so another command if you let's say want to delete a word instead of a line then what you can do is that you can just press DW and you can see that it has deleted one word DW and one word DW one word DW one word okay so you keep pressing DW and it would keep deleting the numbers the word excuse me okay so there is another command uh, if you want to copy this line you all you have to do is you have to press YY and it would copy this line okay and now if you press p you can see that it starts to paste it you press p again it would paste it p again it would paste it okay so now uh, there is another thing uh, there is another command that you can use if you press e in the command mode you can see that it starts to move to the next word okay so i am pressing e and it is moving to the next word okay at the end of the next word so I'm basically pressing E E E and it is moving all right so if you want to replace a letter let's say uh, let's say I'm here and I want to replace the letter what I have to do I press R and now I press the letter that I want to replace it with so I press T and you can see that basically I'm able to uh, replace the letter although I'm not in the edit mode okay so if I you know try to write anything I'm unable to write okay so now we have come out of that so I hope you have enjoyed this video you have learned something new so these were some useful commands in web so for written articles you can visit our website linuxhint.com and uh, all the commands that we have done today related to Vim I'm gonna put all of them in the description okay so Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.